look at this how you can how you are supposed to to install a gpu here with some components that can touch this look at this Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at these two vertical GPU risers. This, this is the one that I'm actually using and this one is a new one from SD iFab. So basically these are the same concept so you can slide this vertical GPU as so. Also here the same. As far as I can tell the cable is the same length. I believe these are 20 centimeters long I guess. I think yes, they're almost the same. A couple of differences here, um, as we can see, this one have this thing here for helping you maintaining the weight of the GPU. If you have a beefy GPU, so you can basically put this this thing on the PC shroud, and you can it, it can help with the height. This one doesn't have that mechanism. This is from Cooling Master. It's the um, V2 kit. And another difference I can tell is that here you can remove this piece if you don't need it. This shroud here you can remove it. And this one now it has, it has rivets here. But basically they are uh, the same. Ah, another difference here I can tell is that here as we can see, I don't know if you guys can see it. Here you can decide in which space you can just can move it from here to here. So you can decide it in which part of the on the bracket to install it and this one is not uh, you cannot adjust it it's just you can install it like so and that's it so let's check it out so let open the, let me open the box and check all the pieces inside it's a trap. all right this is the pci4 cable and this anti-static bag is not that much long I think it will fit in my build and the distance from ma the motherboard and the PCU shroud when all the bracket is going to be installed so I think it's going to be okay. I believe this one is 15 centimeters. I will check the specs. So let's put this away. Okay here we have some instructions. Really easy. This one didn't came as the cooler master which was already installed so we have to put all the pieces together so not a big deal it's really easy to do that honestly okay this is the shroud that goes on the back this is uh, what else we have here uh, what is this piece here uh, screws okay okay guys this is a support that goes on the back I will show you how we can install that what else we have here okay this is the main part i believe yes all right so the cable goes here okay and i believe this is the part that slides if i'm not wrong yes okay so this goes here okay let's put all the things together we don't need all this stuff here Okay guys, the first piece to install is this one, the bracket here. We have to install it this way, as we can see. Okay, so we have to use these small screws here. And then we have to put it like so. So pay attention guys, because this part here, these two things here, I don't know if you can see them, should fit in this space here, like so. Here we go. So you can slide it as you want. So let me install the cable now. All right, guys, once you put it here, let's install these two things so we can keep all those sub, all the bracket together. All right, now it's not going anywhere. If we unscrew a little bit, then we're gonna adjust. All right. So at the moment I will leave it like it is and let's install the cable. Pay attention on which side you are installing otherwise you have to uh, remove it and install it back again. So this is the side should goes like so. So guys as we can see we have two chances to install it as you can see from these holes here. If you install it here it's going to be a little bit far from this side here and the other holes are going to be more near to this side so i'm going to start it on this one here which is going to be so which I, we are going to have a little bit spa of space here which is always useful 
So as you can see, we have a little bit of space here. Surprise! Which is going to help us to maintain all the weight of the GPU. We can install it now or we can install it after. It depends uh, on you. I prefer to install it now, honestly. So I believe it goes like so, yes. And we're gonna use these screws here. I don't know why they put it on white. Everything is black on this GPU bracket and they are using white screws. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to tighten everything because I want this thing to move. Once we find out correct height, I'm going to tighten them. So at the moment I'm going to leave it. So once you find uh, the correct height, you can use this tape for mounting to into the PC you shot, but I don't like that because I want to be to move it somehow, even for cleaning and everything else. Let's go and install it into the case. Let's see if everything is okay. Before moving ahead with the rest, guys, let me say that this video is sponsored by me and I did pay for this vertical GPU bracket. So I would much appreciate if you hit that like button in case you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. It will help grow the channel and allow me to bring more content like this. Thank you so much. Okay guys, let's install it on the case. This is the Corsair 7000D. So you, if you have my same case, you are not going to have any issues. Keep in mind that if you have a different case, which may, maybe doesn't have the PC you installed here, but on the top, you sh maybe should find some issues fitting it. But in this case, it's going to be okay. All right, guys, one thing I recommend you to install is anyway the vertical uh, bracket that comes with the case, because it's going to help us with the cable management here. So I'm going to install it this one anyway. Another thing I recommend you guys is to do all the cable management before, if you have a case like this or even others that are similar with these holes here, I suggest you to do all already the cable management because it's going to be easy than installing all the GPU. If you have a beefy GPU as uh, 3090 or 3080 Ti or similar, you might want to install it first on the bracket and then install everything to get all together. In my case, I'm not going to do it. I have a ASUS ROG Strix 1390 OC Edition. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to install first the bracket and then I will put the GPU on top of it. On top of it. Okay, guys, also this is the Cooler Master. You can slide it a little bit, not too much. Of course, paying attention of what you have behind here. Maybe you have cables or components behind here, so you should pay attention. But anyway, you can slide it a little bit as you prefer. I think, I believe, Hello. here is like, I don't know, maybe 5 or 8 centimeters, something like that. And uh, that's it. Okay, let me install the GPU. Right, guys, let me tell you something. This is a really piece of crap, so you don't have to buy this. It's completely unuseful. For 70 bucks, it's completely unuseful. Let me show you what, what I mean. As you can see here, we can move this, we can slide this, the cable here in order to uh, slide this piece here for, a, for an easy cable management. So look what happens. So look what happens when you move it, when you, when you move this one from here. Let me check if it can, if it focuses it. So, let me say you want to move this from this position here, which is uh, the standard position, to this side because you want to slide this from left to right in order to have a better cable management. So look what it happens when you move this this screw here. It's going to break this little piece here. As we can see, look at the screw. I don't know if it can zoom. Look. So it's a total waste of money and time. So if you can, you should avoid this crap. It's completely a disaster. So don't buy this. And for the moment, I will stick with the Cooler Master, which is doing the job perfectly. So as I was saying, again, this is going to be a total, total disaster. Not only it's going to um, probably, as we can see here, let me check if can properly zoom. Let me check if it can properly focus, maybe. I can try. Okay, here we go. Probably you can see it. Look, it's a complete disaster. This is going to prevent, of course, the, 
the mechanism of detaining the GPU so your GPU will go will move and uh, in case you're moving the case is going to move first of all and second it's going to if it's going to touch the GPU it's going to shorten something because as you can see I don't know if you can focus yeah it's a complete complete disaster so if you can guys don't buy this I would I would never recommend this to buy at this uh, as it is now I will never recommend it to buy it's going to focus and also this thing here look at this how you can how you are supposed to to install a GPU here with some components that can touch this look at this so don't don't get it just uh, get the cooler master which is actually the only one that can support this sliding in vertical the GPU I would never recommend this because it's a total waste of time and money and it's going to probably cause some damage oh my goodness look here this is supposed to be protecting the um, you know this 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 part of the of the contact see let me I don't know if uh, look how these pins are coming out this is a soldier so this is supposed to be protecting here but it's not protecting nothing because if these stuffs are coming are coming out and are going to touch some of these sur metal surfaces here of the case then you are going to have a problem this is a 70 bucks it's completely a total waste of money and it's going to damage your computer so don't get it this it's uh, my goodness i never have seen some such a crap here let me check if maybe there is something else here we can i don't know okay. something else here oh, seems okay maybe ah look at this so whenever you move the cable the whenever you slide this thing here from left to to right this cable of course is going to move and it's okay but look what is happening here my goodness this is total crap God. I would never recommend this to anyone okay guys I removed the cover here just to satisfy my curiosity but look at this oh my god the uh, focus come on focus please uh, maybe yes ah, look at this look at this crazy crazy so this is going to create for sure for sure some issues and damages i'm sure because look at that so the, one, this tiny screw here i believe maybe this part here i get i think i have to check yes should be this part here this part here with this little screw crazy okay this is definitely no way no way as you can see guys this is the cooler master on the back part of the cable as you can see this is this has a layer here it doesn't have any tape to protect it or nothing it's just a layer here simple so whatever surface is touching is not going to ca cause any issues uh, yeah there is a difference all right guys that's all for this video now as a concept installing a gpu in vertical is a nice thing to do it might help get better temps and prevent somehow whenever possible the fans from being loud also, you should consider if there is enough clearance between the side panel and the GPU fans, and from the motherboard and the backplate of the GPU. With all that said, there are plenty of cables and different brackets from installing the GPU in vertical. Some offers this mechanism of sliding which I prefer because it allows more flexibility and better cable management. Now this bracket from SDI Fab is nothing new, Cooler Master and not only has done it before. But I wanted to give it a try, I think they wanted to make something slightly different and maybe more flexible, but it ended being a complete disaster. I believe they officially don't even sell it anymore, this version, but you might find it on Amazon or elsewhere. Isn't even on their website, there is something similar with an RGB add-on, but the bracket is still the same. And the cable is different from what I can see from images, it's similar to the normal cable without uh, those holes that you can move it. The concept and idea are okay, but the engineering, building and quality control are simply not there. If we have to compare it with the Cooler Master to which one this is a copy, well, it's obvious which one you should choose. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.